Today's thought of the day episode 33 is about the book titled Originals, How Non-Conformists Move the World by famous Adam Grant. He explores the concept of originality and how innovative thinkers make a difference in the world. The book delves into the traits and behaviors of individuals who challenge the status quo, offering insights on how to nurture creativity, take calculated risks, and bring new ideas to life. Through a mix of research findings and real life examples, Grant encourages readers to embrace their own uniqueness and, and drive positive change in the society. Author explains that part of the problem is cognitive laziness. Some psychologists point out that we are mental misers. Often, we often prefer the ease of hanging on to old views over the difficulty of grappling with new ones. Yet there are also deeper forces behind our resistance to rethinking. Questioning ourselves makes the world more unpredictable. It requires us to admit that the facts may have changed, that what was once right may now be wrong. Reconsidering something we believe deeply can threaten our identities, making it feel as if we are losing a part of ourselves. Author asks, what stops originality? According to author, if our culture praises originals as heroes, why are not there more of them? What stops everyday people like you and me from becoming one? Why do some people become originals, considered creative geniuses, whereas others never transcend mediocrity? As I hope you will soon realize, originality is fortunately not an inborn trait. It is a choice available to all of us. Ultimately, the things that stop us from going out on a limb, questioning the way things have always been done, or taking the initiative to make something better stem from fear. The change makers we look up to were not immune to this fear. They, like us, just had to learn to overcome it. Myth, num myth number one, originals have a greater risk tolerance. Risk aversion, risk aversion turns out to be a useful attribute in, in business because it makes you more skeptical of even your own ideas and plans. When you are more doubtful of the feasibility of ideas, you are more likely to find flaws that would otherwise harm or at least slow your business. When you are more doubtful of the feasibility of ideas, you are more likely to find flaws that would often, that would otherwise harm or at least slow your business. The most successful originals are not, those are not the daredevils who leap before they look. They are the ones who reluctantly tiptoe to the edge of a cliff. Calculate the rate of descent, triple check their parachutes, and set up a safety net at the bottom just in case. The entrepreneur who bets the form is not the one who builds the lasting business that makes for a sexy but unrealistic story. In the end, it is the people who hedge their bets, mitigate risks, and identify all the reasons their plans would not work that usually end up succeeding. Myth number two, originals do not fear rocking the boat. 
disrupting the default system is uncomfortable. Unfortunately, when we let comfort become more important than progress, we lose the necessary moral outrage to stand against injustice and the creative will to consider alternative ways that the world could work. Originals are often accomplishing the worst, the most when they look the least productive. It is not when they are typing words on a page, coding lines on a computer, or singing melodies into a microphone. It takes place before they ever step up to the microphones, open their laptop, or pull out the canvas when they are forming a more perfect idea in their minds, leading up to the point of practice or performance. It comes in lurching and halting bursts of inspirations, later tamed by the, organi by the organizational rearranging of these fragments of ideas. Characteristics of individuals who break away from conventional thinking and make a lasting impact. According to author, we believe that great creators are born with a biological immunity to risk. They are wired to embrace uncertainty and ignore social approval. They simply do not worry about the cost of non-conformity the way the rest of us do. They are programmed to be iconoclasts, rebels, revolutionaries, troublemakers, mavericks, and contrarians who are impervious to fear, rejection, and ridicule. Psychologists discovered that there are two routes to achievement, conformity and originality. Conformity means following the crowd down conventional paths and maintaining the status quo. Originality is taking the road less traveled, championing, championing a set of novel ideas that go against the grain but ultimately make things better. Adam believes that the goal is not to be wrong. More often, to recognize that we are all wrong more often than we would like to admit. And the more we deny it, the deeper the hole we dig for ourselves. Grant said that we assume that common goals bind groups together, but reality is they often drive groups apart. It's apart. According to Dormouth psychologist Judith White, hence for understanding these fractures is the concept of horizontal hostility. This is the type of hostility we observe in the various groups who have the same ideology, but are hostile to each other, even in our own backyard. Following are some key points from the book. Number one, originality and creativity. Grant discusses how original thinkers come up with new and innovative ideas. He emphasizes that originality is not necessarily about being a genius, but rather about a willingness to question the status quo and experiment with unconventional approaches. Number two, the power of procrastination. Grant challenges the notion that procrastination is always detrimental. He argues that strategic procrastination can actually lead to better decision making and creativity by allowing time for ideas to incubate. Number three, embracing failure. The book highlights the importance of embracing failure as a stepping stone to success. Grant showcases stories of famous inventors, entrepreneurs, and artists who faced numerous setbacks before achieving greatness. 
Number four, risk taking and timing. Grant explores how original thinkers assess and take risks, often at the right moments. He provides insights into between being too early or too late with a novel idea and how timing can significantly impact success. Number five, nurturing originality. The book provides practical advice on how individuals, organizations, and leaders can foster an involvement that encourages original thinking. It emphasizes the importance of diverse perspectives and constructive dissent. Number six, rethinking conformity. Grant challenges the idea that conformity is always safe and encourages readers to question traditional norms and practices when they do not align with their values or goals. Number seven, social change and activism. The book also examines how original thinkers contribute to social change and activism, highlighting the power of and the role of influencers in shaping public opinion. In Originals, Adam Grant combines engaging storytelling with rigorous research to inspire readers to think differently, take calculated risks, and create positive change in their lives and the world around them. It is a book that encourages readers to embrace their own uniqueness and harness their creative potential to make a meaningful impact. Thank you.